on Sarah the Gardener and I'm super excited. Firstly, I have a brand new super cool swing seat. Oh my gosh, I love it. I have wasted so many hours on it already. It's in the garden, it overlooks the garden and it will help me to take um, well-earned breaks often because I need to do that. But otherwise I'll just work, 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 work without even a break. I love my garden that much. And the other thing that I'm excited about is we are going on a well-earned, well-deserved, overdue holiday. Oh, I can hardly wait. So the last few weeks have been crazy busy. We've got house sitters coming, so might as well call it a spring clean so that they can actually stay in a nice environment. But the main reason we've got them in is so they can take care of all the animals. So can't really go away and not have the animals taken care of. So we've got lovely house sitters who are gonna look after it. Uh, I didn't wanna give them the burden of the garden. And so I've been working hard to make sure it is completely low maintenance for the next two weeks. So, oh, come and see what I've done. If I can force myself out of this swing seat. Oh, it's so lovely. Oh, I love it. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can't sit here all day. Let's go and have a look. So one thing I've been working on um, for a while, and I'll do a blog post about it sooner rather than later, is I built a cold frame. So it's raised up and it's got um, cobbles underneath it, cobblestones, paving stones. And then down the back, I've just packed it out with sand. So there's no way that the slugs and snails can come in and chomp on my seedlings. Now, it doesn't have its glass lid yet because that's from an old shower that we had, shower door from when we renovated. Um, I don't quite know how to attach it yet. So my um, wonderful friend, Incredible Carl, is going to help me to assemble it. But... Um, so for the moment what I've done is all my seedlings are in it, well most of them, um, and I've got this old frame here, old shelving from an old greenhouse so that the birds don't get in there or the cat or anything. So because last year I grew asparagus um, from seed and then I put it out to... Um, harden off and the birds stripped them and then they died so I don't really want that to happen either so um, but what I have in here mostly at the moment oh, is um, my onion now I don't normally transplant my onion into single cells but I may not get time to plant them in the garden and they normally should go in on the shortest day so this isn't, it's not in seed raising mix. These are in, um, in a nutrient rich um, soil. And so what will happen is whether they are in the garden or in the cold frame, they should do well. I'm hoping to get them in, but I'm not sure that I will before we go. So they should just continue to grow like they would in the garden for the next couple of weeks if I don't get there first. So the herb garden is doing well. Look at that rosemary. Oh. oh, I just wish you could smell that. That's amazing. I planted some cover crops, but the germination has been really hit and miss with the lupin. The early garlic is doing really well. No sign of rust which is a great thing. The normal stuff hasn't popped up yet. Nothing to see here. The rhubarb really suffered in the flooding, so I need to raise this bed. And what I've done to replace them is I've actually grown some from seed. And they look really cool. So I've just left them out here while we're away and let the elements water them. They'll be fine. The artichoke seems to be bouncing back. I need to raise their bed up as well, but I'm not really sure how at this point because I don't really want to disturb them. Um, I've been feeding the beets to the chickens, uh, the rainbow beet to the chickens. They're loving it. 
and we've been eating the celery celeriac and I need to do something about the celery the only reason I've got so much celery is I've never really been successful at it all that flooding was good for it I don't know if I like celery this much the strawberries are starting to go red and do their winter thing so when we get back we'll clear it out so stay tuned for that I took down the um, stalks of the Jerusalem artichokes and now I just got to dig them up and do something with them and the yams well they need to die down completely before being dug up I don't hold out my hopes they didn't do very well in the flood Okay, this is one of my work in progress beds. The salads. I don't seem to be eating as many salads now that we're in the middle of winter. I had a naughty goat escape. So the broccoli's been nibbled, but it's only the leaves, so I'm sure it'll be fine. All the rest of them are looking well. The onions are going to go in here. Some of them anyway. Oh. Excuse the mess, it's the leeks. Need to eat more leeks. And the broad beans. Look, some of them are already flowering. So, if we have bumblebees about, then we might get early, early broad beans. It's a little bit weird. And we have mustard cover crop for a couple of beds. So, that'll be good. The fennel's coming along nicely. But I think the goat gave the carrots a trim. I think they're all right in the ground. Yeah, they're not bad. Not bad at all. I'll have him for tea. Right, here's the goat that ate my broccoli. Hello. Say hello. Hey. I pruned my currants. So there should be more about that soon enough. And I pruned the broys and brews and tied them up nicely and then the goat trimmed the ends off them. Lovely. The blueberries are looking fab. They're actually flowering. Do they not know it's winter? And these guys are doing really well too. Nothing to see really. Cape gooseberries. They're pretty much finished, but if I can get them through without getting killed by the frost, then they'll start again early in the season next year. Yeah, nothing to see here either. The flower bed needs work. Okay, you can do it. You do the work. Thank you. Just carry on all over there as well. Yep, good girl. Digging, digging. Uh, the raspberries, I'm going to rip them out and completely replace them. They got flooded. They're stuffed. I have some sheep mulching down on this one. I didn't even weed it or anything. I just laid down the cardboard. Six to eight weeks. There will be nothing there except bare earth that I can just tickle. And more fennel. More fennel. Hey fennel. And fennel. And parsnips, we really need to eat more parsnips. I keep forgetting they're there. So we should have parsnips as well. And we have peas. I just hope they last until we get back. I don't want to miss a single one. And we have more cover crop mustard. And my wheat finally germinated. It's looking good. And of course this is where I'm going to put more onions. There's going to be onions in here. And my asparagus. I mulched it with itself. 
So I thought that was a really good idea. We'll see. Waste not, what not, and all that. And of course, my wonderful swing seat. Ah, oh, I love it. Now, now I wanted to show you one more thing. This is our chicken coop, and we adopted six caged chickens to add to our flock. And the poor things, their feathers are actually starting to grow back now. But oh my gosh, they really didn't have any. It was, it was really sad. So we've had them a good couple of weeks now, and they're starting to acclimatise. They're in with the other chickens. Um, it's sort of like two tribes on the same island. But, but they are, you know, there's no, no argy bargy. So we added six girls to our flock. And some of them are, I mean, there we go, look at that. No feathers at all on her neck. That's caged birds for you, you know? They're just so happy to be out and about, dotting about. Um, and we're just so pleased to have them, saving them from a life of horribleness, really. So, I think by the time we get back from a holiday, the um, feathers may have come in and they'll look healthy and wonderful again. But they are laying us some fabulous eggs. Absolutely delish. Thank you, chickens. So, that was a quick tour of my garden. It was more, almost for my benefit, because when you go away from your garden, it's amazing how much it grows. Like when you, there every day, you don't notice it, and then you come back and it's like, wow. So I'm going to be able to look back on this video when we get back and compare it with what the garden's actually going to be like, and I will be super amazed. I hope I get time to get the onion in, but I'm not counting on it. But it's okay, it's fine, she'll be fine. So anyway, I better go. The list is still like this big. So that we have everything ready for the house sitter, we have everything ready for the animals, we have everything ready for the garden, and that we have everything ready for us. It's going to be fabulous. I can't wait. So um, have a wonderful few weeks, and then I'll come back and I'll show you what has been going on in my garden. Oh my gosh. If I can make myself leave this swing seat. Hmm. Tropical holiday. Sitting here in the swing seat. Oh, I don't know. I think I might just stay here for a bit. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.